Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and today I'm going to share with you with my finished object. And today is Forgotten Path Hat, designed by me. My name is Barbara Naletko, aka Knitting I Love, and check it out, Reverly, links down below. Um, I hope you're going to like it. If you are for the first time in this channel, you may not know, but um, I like to share my knitting, finished object, knitting adventures, and yeah, I love hats, and basically I could live in a hat. So let's keep it on. First things first, I would like to thank to all my test knitters. 14 knitters saw my pattern, some of them still knitting it right. So let me quickly tell you what I use, but if you're not interested in that, just go down below, click the link, and you have a pattern. So this is how it looks like. The rest will be about what tools I use, what yarn I use, and more about pattern. This pattern is paid for pattern, just to support my channel, so I hope you're going to gift it to someone you love, or someone who loves lace hats. Anyway, let's start. So first things first, I used a bag, and I used the bag by Jodi, and this is Miss, Mrs. Brown's bag. It is a very summery one and I received it as a gift from my viewers, so thank you so much. And one of my test letters, by the way. So I'm thrilled about it. And then first things first, what I wanted to do, I wanted to um, knit a hat and I didn't really thought about designing anything. And I wanted to use the yarn that I already have, so some leftovers and kind of create a matching hat for a shawl. And the shawl I actually wanted to create this pattern it's called Tamdu Shawl, and maybe I'll leave a link up here. And first hat knitted was this one. This yarn is fingering yarn, 75% merino, 25% nylon, and it is on the screen seawall fibers. On Etsy, check them out, link obviously below, but this is a colorway and I love it. This is a child version, but you could probably notice in the beginning, I could put it on, so the pens how much uh, squeeze you like. But I love it. I love the stitch definition in it. I would recommend some tonal yarns if you have any darker colors, maybe. It looks lovely. Other thing, for this little piece, I used 35 grams. I'm not saying you're going to use the same, but you know, feel free to add five, 10 grams into it. Um, to make this beauty. So cute. Anyway, on my head now, I decided to knit an adult version and I used this one. As you can see, I still have leftovers. On the screen now, you have my Labriga sock. More information about yarn now over here. And the colorway is this amazing green. It's called Ivy. And this is 138. I got this yarn in Dublin and this is knit, so check it out if you're looking for some American, I think it's American yarn, isn't it? For an adult version, this one, I used 45 grams. So the same story, five, 10 grams more if you need it. Kind of gives you a stretch. So I, in the pattern, recommend once you do ribbing, just put it on a longer circular needles cord basically, and then just put it on and see how much it stretches. Uh, this is 100% superwash merino, so I knew it's going to be a little bit, it's a little bit more clumpy, I would say. Let's use that word. Now, needles. Needles I used, uh, these ones, circular, I worked in the round from bottom up, and um, yeah, what else? Size maybe. So this is circular needles, US 2.5, which is three millimeters, that's what I did ribbing, and then I moved it up to US size 4, which is 3.5 millimeters, and I did a main body. Here in my pouch, this is Knitting I Love pouch, this one is Silent Forest, but I actually was knitting it with the Flower Power, which you can see on the screen because I have a few photos for you to show you. So what else do I have in this uh, pattern? In this pattern you have charts for ribbing, for main body, and even charts for 
crown and obviously written instructions too. What else I love to have, uh, I love to have like a blank cells so that you can tick or color it uh, when you finish around. I love that. I normally draw it myself on other patterns so I decided to have one in mine. I think that's all. If you have any questions please leave the comment down below and let's give a pattern away so uh, please go on Instagram because it's definitely a feat to give this pattern away and I will draw also maybe a person from the comments down below so just write it down uh, what you think which color suits me better for instance uh, just say hi or say what you're knitting or what kind of shawl you've knitted or what do you think this hat will match with other shawl that you have um, or would you knit it for yourself or would you knit it for a friend or a child, your daughter? Um, I want to hear all about it so please leave a comment down below and subscribe because I'm going to draw a winner in my next episode, um, Knitting a Love Podcast episode 40, big one. So at least I have something to give you guys. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in the next one. Hashtag knitting I love hat or for this hat also hashtag forgotten path hat and I hope to see you on Instagram and in my next episodes. Bye!